Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this unturned map editor tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the road tools that are found within the environments tab. Now to start off, I'm just going to show you guys how to place down a basic road and how to choose which one you want. Now there's many different types of roads available, including two lane roads, four lane roads, a trail that's not even a road, and train tracks which is really cool because they don't even have trains yet but maybe they'll have trains in the future who knows um, but yeah so let's just say I want to place down this uh, four lane highway with you know yellow middle line so at first it gives me like after I select it I get like this red dot thing and what you have to do to place them down is you have to place a line of them and they'll automatically connect to each other and so yeah yeah you just outline where you want your road to go and it creates a path now to see your road after you've gotten a good section that you want you have to press the bake roads button at the bottom and as you can see it's sort of glitched into the ground a little bit but I'll show you how to fix that a little bit later so yeah I've created a basic road um, it does have the yellow line it's just got this this white line in the middle sort of blocking it up but yeah so the nice thing about this is you can continue where you left off as long as you select the area the the point you want to to continue from so let's say I want to have a turn let's see so I've turned it you know I want to go up this hill right okay so I'm gonna bake it again just to check and see what it did well look at that that looks terrible and the reason is because it draws between the lines and when you're making a curve you need a lot more dots to make it smoother so a great way to do this if you roughly want to outline your roads using square edges and stuff you can select the points later and press W this automatically splits the points into two and sort of splits the difference now it's still not very good so you're gonna have to do that a lot and you may have to make the curve smaller but generally that has improved it a ton so the W key that's really really useful um, also another cool tool to do with these nodes actually they're called nodes specifically is you can press the E button which is used in a lot of other tools to replace the node so if I put it over there you know I want to make it messed up or something you know obviously it'll make a messed up but you know if it's not completely straight and you want to fix that just replace it and make it straighter okay so besides that if you've made a whole section that you really do not like you can press control delete and it'll get rid of the whole thing so yeah those are the basic tools now I'll show you how to use the width height depth and concrete or not buttons so I'm just gonna switch to another road for demonstration purposes um, I'll just switch to a two-lane white road with a dotted line in the middle and I'm just gonna place it pretty much in the same spot because this is good for demonstration purposes this area right here especially when it comes to the depth so you know I've, I've made a road it's pretty crappy you know pretty simple um, I'm actually gonna make it wider and the way you do that is by changing the width so right now the width is four and that is four meters so if you want to be really realistic a meter is equal to roughly three feet so technically this road is twelve feet wide and since it's two lane each lane gets six feet so if we want to make that a little bigger you know I could make it five or even six meters wide and as you can see now it's super big you know it's there's a lot more room for those cars but the problem is now it's starting to glitch into the ground as you can see it's placed so thinly along the ground that there's not much room for error and so parts of it are being glitched under the ground well you can fix that by changing the depth not the height the depth of the road right now it's 0.2 meters 
and let's see I will show it that should be equal to about this amount of feet right here so I'm gonna change that to let's just say 0.5 that's a nice number so if I round that to 0.5 that should be roughly one and a half feet tall which is really tall but look what it does after you change it the road gets tons thicker and it covers up all those areas that were completely covered up by the grass and stuff like that that was overlapping so if I put it back to where it originally was you know you got stuff overlapping now put it at 0.5 fixes that problem so those are just two of the basic tools uh, the third one which is a lot more complicated to explain at least uh, is the height it's okay the height is meant to be used when you're making a road on a steep slope so I've made this very steep slope for demonstration purposes you know what that's a bad type of road to use I can't use that road I gotta show the other one and if it will let me delete it oh also guys if you want to delete a single node at a time you have to be selecting some type of road and just click roughly where it is and you can just press the delete key and it'll get rid of it and it and the thing is the changes won't be seen until you press re it, until you rebake it again so it'll look like it's there but when you rebake it you'll it'll disappear for you dang it let me select this entire road section though so i can control delete it okay so this is the best scene in a four lane road so we got a basic road going up the hill not super detailed or anything okay now the height settings here i'm gonna make it a little deeper too got grass popping up in the middle there we go so the height settings change the ratio of the texture of the road and so I'll just show you by demonstration what it does so right now it's at 2 I think originally it was at 1 but I changed it before but this is what it's like at 1 it actually makes it wider now if I put it at 0.5 I'm guessing it's gonna make it even wider and so pretty much what that does is it makes it look like the roads more drawn out and so on steeper slopes you want the number to be higher I guess I mean it, it could just be decorational as well I don't see why it really matters but I mean that's essentially what it does so you can use it for whatever um okay one more thing before I forget the concrete or not button you can turn it on and off it's on if it's green it's off if it's red the only thing this changes is how fast cars can go while they're on the road because cars normally go different speeds depending on what materials they're on. Off-road vehicles go better on grass and sand and dirt and stuff compared to roads. And regular cars like sedans and other cars like that, they go pretty slow when they're on grass or sand compared to when they're on a road. So if you have the concrete button off, when they're on this highway they will go as fast on the highway as they would on grass but if you have it on they'll go as fast as they go on concrete on the road as well which is probably what you want unless you really want a slow road but the nice thing is automatically the train tracks and the trails have it off but if you want to have a really fast trail you can just turn it on and they'll go faster on it than they would have originally so that's about it for this video um if you liked it please like the video and if you want to see some more please subscribe because i'll be doing the whole tool section for this uh map editor i'll be going over everything and i'll be doing it pretty thoroughly as well so thank you guys for watching and see you guys later